Rockstar's new Red Dead Online mini update has just addressed a huge player bug that has been in the game for far too long, and it's definitely making players happy. This glitch would stop player progression in a sense as well, and so this is a long-standing issue with animal sampling that's been bugging players for quite some time. It's been bugging me too. I just want to preface the video saying there's no new content or anything like this as it was just a background update. But as always, I'll have the details and information for you here in this video and outline everything you need to know for this much awaited fix. And so as we get into things, if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So let's just go over everything real fast in a rapid style format. As you know, the naturalist role in Red Dead Online allows players to study and sample animals, and you can collect data for Harriet Davenport's field guide. However, there's been this frustrating bug in the game where sampled animals would not count towards the field guide's progress. And, well, it looks like that issue is a thing of the past now, as Rockstar has rolled out this background update that specifically targets this animal sampling problem, and players are now reporting that their animal samples are being correctly registered in their personal field guides. And this means you can finally work on completing that collection without any more roadblocks or hair pulling moments. And the Red Dead Online community is absolutely thrilled with this fix so far from what I'm reading online, as it's been a long awaited solution to a problem that's been plaguing naturally for ages, and now players can fully enjoy the naturalist role and immerse themselves in the wildlife side of the game without any annoying bugs getting in their way, and so now is definitely the time to get back out there, back into the wild, and start sampling those animals with confidence. This update shows, at least to me, that Rockstar is still committed to improving Red Dead Online's experience and addressing player concerns, albeit in the most minor of ways. They're still putting out these types of background updates and mini patches to fix bugs and glitches, despite them being months late and them saying they're not adding any more content for the foreseeable future, and so I just see this as a win. And Tezfun2 also tweeted about this glitch finally being fixed with the following statement. He said, new Red Dead Redemption 2 background update went live yesterday, addressing an issue with the animal field guide. And this featured a link to Reddit with active Red Dead Online players also discussing this recent change for their game, with many more of these players sharing the same experience and sentiment that the bug has finally been patched, and they can finally 100% their animal field guides now. Now this small patch that we're talking about in this video also follows the mini update to Red Dead Online on the PC platform in the second half of March, which was a very small 140 megabyte Red Dead Online patch that focused on improving the game experience by addressing maintenance and security related issues. And this patch also included fixes for known exploits and glitches, as well as improvements to the network and server stability, making the gameplay in Red Dead fairer and more enjoyable for all players, at least on PC. And the stable glitch, as well as the natural sample glitch specifically in regards to daily challenges and earning gold from sampling animals, those were reportedly fixed, and those were definitely fixed for me on the PC platform, and of course, this is going to benefit the entire PC player base. But additionally, that update introduced enhanced security measures that offer added protection against cheaters and mod menu users who try to exploit Rockstar ID joining. However, the official patch notes didn't reflect those changes, so it is essential to keep keeping track of the community's feedback and experiences by staying up to date with this channel. Now, as I said in that video, since it was mainly a PC patch, I said that it was good news for console players because since they're updating PC by patching those bugs and glitches, that means console will get them eventually. They just need to wait for Sony and Microsoft to certify such patches. And obviously, Rockstar needs to get fixing them on those platforms. And thankfully, that's exactly what happened. Some of the other stable and the naturalist daily challenge glitches remain. Unfortunately, like they weren't actually remaining with the PC when they got that patch in March, but I do foresee more patches going live in the future to address those problems as well. It's taken a very long time and things are moving very slowly, but one by one, Rockstar is addressing some of these major glitches that came into the game with the Skeldings Contract Telegram mission update from September of 2022. And so with all that said, that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. Naturalists can get to sampling animals and keep progressing with their animal field guide. And so with all that said, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red 
content than online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.